Good morning. It's me again, Don the Window Cleaner. Um, you know, when I came to have faith in Jesus, um, it had all kinds of ramifications for my life. Um, I you know, had to examine some things. And in some cases, it, they were real obvious things. You know, like I worked for an employer that expect me to steal for them. <laughs> and that had to go. Um, okay, that's that's kind of obvious. Um, I, I was also of a certain uh, political persuasion. And I started, you know, leaning that up against my, you know, what I believed about Jesus, about, about God, about judgment, about, about what I knew. And I saw, oh, you know, some things need to change here. And so, you know, that's that's what happens. You know, when you when you start, you know, laying your life up against, uh, you know, God's yardstick, um, you start finding things that that need to change. There's some things that got to go. <laughs> some things that need to be added. Um, and uh, that is something that you know I, I didn't have someone come and tell me I had to do that. Um, because I had put my faith in Christ and I had this new life in me. This came from inside. This was the, you know, the voice of the Holy Spirit nudging me in various directions. Now, um, you know what? We, we don't always hear that voice. Sometimes we're very invested in other voices that keeps us from hearing the voice of the Holy Spirit. And nowadays there's a lot of loud voices out there. And you know, people get, you know, caught up in those things and start finding reasons why, uh, you know, that works out on God's yardstick. Um, you know, I am, you know, I was very politically involved for a long time and, you know, I got away from it when I got involved with Child Evangelism Fellowship because I realized that uh, people coming to know Christ as early as possible really is the answer, at least for them. Uh, it may not change the country, may not change the world, but it changes life for them. And uh, in fact, you know, Jesus said that, you know, you know, narrow is the, the way that leads to life and few be there that find it. Um, and that most people don't find the, the right road. So, you know, I became, I've become recently much less inclined to care about winning elections and making sure I make my own election sure. Um, you know, I, I want to make sure that, you know, my life is one that is, you know, measures up in, in obedience to God. Now, you know, there are things that, uh, that people say, you know, about, uh, you know, about politics, you know, it's sort of like, you know, how, how can you be a Christian and not be for blank, you know, whatever this social thing is, or, uh, or how can you vote for so-and-so if you're a Christian? Oh, I just cannot understand that. And, you know, there, there are people who are acting out of their conscience as it's informed by their, their faith. Um, people of faith in Christ disagree about some things because everything isn't just automatic, you know, and we, um, you know, we'll have opinions on different things that, uh, you know, come from, you know, part of it's our faith, part of it's our life experience, part of it is peer pressure, uh, you know, people that uh, lean on you a lot that, you know, this is the thing you should care about if you really believe in Jesus and, and they make their case. Uh, but let me ask you a question. Um, are there people that are on the side of this particular issue who don't know Christ? Or nowhere near him. You know, you might be on the same side of an issue as an atheist, okay? And that can happen, you know, because there's lots of atheists that um, are for some of the things, uh, same things I am for. But I don't believe that that makes them close to God because we happen to agree on a particular issue. Um, the fact of the matter is, if there's no life in them, they don't have eternal life in them now. They will not have it later. And that really is the important thing. I know that this is one of those things that nobody wants to talk about. People will talk about, you know, illegal immigration or Me Too or, uh, you know, all kinds of social justice issues. I'm going to touch on that in a little while. Uh, and, but talking about eternal life is like, oh, Don, that's, you know, people don't really, uh, you don't get to them that way. 
that's really the only way worth getting to people is on the issue of eternal life. You know, let the Holy Spirit in them make those course corrections that you so desperately want them to make. Um, and that, that's what happens to a lot of us. Uh, will we end up on the same side of every issue? Uh, no, probably not. But hopefully we are on the same side of the issue that matters. And that is that, you know, God gave his son to, uh, you know, not that the world would perish, but that, you know, they'd have eternal life. Uh, he didn't send his son to condemn the world, but that through him that they might live. And that is what is important. So this is Don the Window Cleaner. I know I kind of baited you with the title <laughs> a little bit. But this is the thing that has to be talked about. And it's so hard to put... Uh, you know, put a title on a video about salvation and get people to watch it. So thanks a lot. I'll see you later.